this is not your typical mask. This is the LG Pure Care Voice On and it's a wearable air filter with a built-in mic. Good day, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isada's Tech, where we do tech in your life in style. So, I previously shot the LG Pure Care mask and a lot of you were really curious about this thing. In this video, I have version 2 of the mask and as you can see, it looks a little different and it has new features. We're testing this new mask out, but first, let's go through the unboxing and setup experience. The second LG Pure Care is here. I'm so excited. Wear your confidence. Also, packaging is from responsible sources. That's nice. On the sides, we have some LG branding. And you guys, for a change, I got the black version this time, but there's also a white one. This is pretty cool, so boxes are not glued. And then plastic pack can be used as a stand while charging. Also on bleach paper, I like this initiative. So we have the mask here. It feels a little lighter and less bulkier than the first one. Later on, let's compare the two. Ooh, nice. So it's a little more sleek looking now. It's all smooth up front. It looks a little less like a stormtrooper's mask, which to be honest, I found pretty cool. This is what the back looks like and we're gonna figure out how the whole mask goes together in a bit. But also just a quick reminder, these are not just valves. Like there are filters on here and the great thing about this LG mask is that now there is a mic in it. Let's see what else is in the box. Okay, that's cool. So this isn't cheap plastic and like the card said, we can use this for charging the mask. We have paperwork. We have the face guard. Let's open this up. This is what that looks like and this is what goes on to your face. We have the ear guard. Another nice carry case. That's such a nice texture. We also have the HEPA filters. Charging cord, that's a USB-C. And this is the inner cover filter. And this is made from the same material as the surgical masks are made out of. Okay, so we're gonna try to add in the HEPA filters and this is where they go. As you can see in there, that is a fan. So one here and the other one on the other side. We then add in a filter. And so these are not the same shape filter as the one we had on the older Pure Care mask. Basically have to align this here properly so all those right dots. And then it's time for the face guard so there are magnets and certain slots. It has to go in the right way. As you can see, the air that goes in or out of your face, it's filtered through here. You exhale here, these are the vents, it goes through the filter and then you have HEPA filters here and a fan so that you're cool all throughout. At the bottom here, you also find your USB-C charging port and some buttons and indicator lights. So let's try the Pure Care on. It does have a good fit to my face and I feel like everything is sealed from the top to the bottom. Of course, it's definitely going to be heavier than if you were wearing a plain surgical mask. That's lipstick. So my face still sort of touches the filter but I feel like unless you can find a good non-transfer lipstick this is gonna keep on happening but even then my face isn't like smushed to the mask and the part of my face that touches the masks at all time would really only be this walking with this mask on was no trouble at all but also because i can be a very animated person i tested out jumping around with this mask on which at first true wanted to do with me but in this video she really looked like she wasn't having fun she was but yeah it stayed on aside from that straps on both sides are fully adjustable and if you're like me and your ears just can't take the weight this like the previous mask comes with an ear guard so the main thing about this new pure care is that this has a mic in it 
So this is how it sounds with the mics turned on and I can hear myself right now. It is a little bit clearer versus when the mics are off and you just sound really muffled. I gotta say that the mics are a welcome addition because honestly I've been having trouble hearing people through their mask and most especially if your mask isn't the typical surgical mask sound just doesn't go through well. Like you saw when we set up there are HEPA filters in this and they're the same HEPA filters that you'd find in your home air purifiers. There are fans that blow into your face through those HEPA filters and I will say after having been using the first version of the LG PuriCare out so those fans really help. I can attest to how comfy they are compared to typical masks especially when you're in a hot and humid place and this particular mask instead of like turning up your fans depending on what you're doing it just automatically adjusts to your breathing. You can actually feel it adjust so if you're like breathing deeper you can feel the fans adjust to that so all you need to do really with this is turn it on and never think about it again so there's really only one button at the bottom of the mask if you press and hold it once that is how you turn it on if you press it while it's turned on you hear those two beeps that just means that the mic is on and if you press it once while it's on and it beeps three times you turn off the mic but the mask is still on to turn it off you just press and hold. Because of the airflow in this mask and because of this seal that you will have on your face, that also means there's no more fogging up in your glasses. Which honestly, if you're wearing some other masks and your glasses are fogging up, you should try and fix that because aside from you not seeing things, air shouldn't be going up that way through your mask. This thing is also water resistant so that means you can bring this out like in activities where you sweat, if you're by the sea where water is spraying and stuff like that. I don't think you should be swimming with this on but at least we know that it won't break down completely when water gets sprayed on it. LG claims that there is a 1000 milliamp hour battery on this thing which should translate to eight hours of use. Of course I haven't worn this mask like eight hours straight so I won't be able to confirm that as of yet but if true that should be better than the older PuriCare because this gave me like three four hours of use I know because I wore it on a plane ride. Now let's look at these two masks side by side. Right off the bat, you can see the size difference. This new Pure Care mask gives us a more subtle design. According to the numbers, this mask is 25% more compact and 10% lighter than the older Pure Care. I mean, I don't think I have to measure this to confirm. Visibly, this is a sleeker and smaller mask. There's also the difference of where the HEPA filter goes with the new one having the filters in a slot on the inside and the old one having the filters on a slot on the outside. Both masks have the adjustable straps and and they also have similar mouth guards but as you can see they have different shapes now even the filters that you use for each mask is different and I sort of like the new version with less filter because that also means that's less waste another difference is how the filter and the mouth guard is assembled with the newer mask having the filter on first and then the mouth guard but the older mask has the mouth guard on and then you add in the filter the older PureCare also has different fan speed settings and like you saw earlier, the newer mask has one button to turn it on and it automatically adjusts. Right, so final thoughts on the LG PureCare Voice On mask. So first off, a reminder that these masks weren't necessarily designed for COVID. The first LG PuriCare was announced before the pandemic hit, and it just so happened that it did roll out during the pandemic, which was actually perfect timing, though I don't think LG could have ever predicted that. And remember, pre-pandemic, in places in Asia like Korea, people were wearing masks to protect themselves from pollution. So that was the whole thrust of this mask when it first came out. It is, after all, labeled as a wearable air purifier. Now, that being said, these are still masks that filter stuff out. Like, again, these are masks that rep HEPA filters on them. And aside from that, and like I mentioned earlier, the inner filter here is made from the same material that surgical masks are made out of. So by that logic, and if this mask is fitted to your face properly and comfortably, this mask would be filtering out the same things or maybe even more, again, HEPA filters that surgical masks are filtering out. So I'd say that this mask would be good for everyday use, though it's always best to ask your healthcare provider 
further if you have any more questions. Personally, I know doctors who have bought this mask and use it for everyday stuff. Now, you guys know that I was sold on the first LG Puricare mask. So much so that I traveled with this thing and recommended this to people who were looking for a mask alternative that was more than what your surgical mask would offer. The LG Puricare voice on is definitely sleeker, lighter, and is a more comfortable fit. And I love the voice addition, especially again, because it was really hard to talk with this mask on. I think that this is a great second generation device. And though this first mask was cool, it definitely did have some pain points. LG did a great job addressing them with this mask. And yes, as someone who wears masks and will continue to wear masks in the foreseeable future, I recommend. That's it for today's video. If you have questions about the LG Puricare voice on, let me know in the comment section down below. If you want to see how I use my tech on a daily basis, find me online. That's Isa does underscore on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Until next time!